Hello everyone, I'm Alicia. Welcome to my Beautiful Nights channel. I am super excited about this video tutorial because in my last video, I showed you guys how to make a necklace. I'll post a picture of it now. And when I was editing that video, I was looking at the necklace and all of a sudden, I saw a fish body in the necklace. And I was like, wow, could I... I make this design into a fish so for the past few days while you have not seen me active on YouTube I have been trying to figure out how to make a fish with the design that I did in the necklace and so I finally figured it out and I am so happy it is just so cool when I was making it I was like you know I really want this to look like a fish I don't want people to look at it and be like you know what is that I want you to to instantly look at it and be like, wow, that's a fish. And um, here he is. He's so cool. He's three inches long. And I do think that you can make him different sizes. It just depends on how many beads you use and where you use them at. But um, I'm going to zoom in on the little guy. He's so cute. And here he is. So um, as you can see, this here is the part of the necklace. And I made that with seed beads. And then I had to figure out how to make him look more like a fish and so I figured out his head and his top fin here and I gave him a bottom fin and the tail I feel like the tail is a huge part of making him look like a fish but anyways this is actually meant to hang from his mouth but anyways I do plan on hanging him like this from a necklace he can also be put into earrings but he's just so cool and I think my favorite part about him is that he is totally movable look at how he moves so cool it's awesome he's really flexible it's just so cool so I am really really excited as you can see that I actually figured this out I've been wanting to do a fish piece like this for a long time I did not too long ago uh, figure out how to make fish earrings with this check eye bead I'll post a picture of that if you didn't see it but um I've really been wanting to figure out how to make a fish from scratch and this is it he's the coolest guy so let's get started it's gonna be a fun project and even though it looks complicated it's actually not that bad and you'll see as I work through it here is the list of materials you will need to make a fish you will need 20 gauge wire and you also need seed beads and they could be 11 O's or 10 O's really the thing is you just want them to fit on your wire and so I'm actually using seed beads from Walmart they claim to be 11 O seed beads but when I compare them to my Miyuki and check seed beads and name brand stuff they are bigger but they worked perfectly on 20 gauge wire so really I recommend that you just go through your bead stash and try to find some seed beads that will fit onto 20 gauge wire I do find that the cheapo ones work best and strangely um, as I was finding the beads because not all of these will fit into the wire some do um, as I was going through the beads and trying to find some to fit in my wire I realized that all the ones that fit were actually pretty uniform and these are from Walmart it's like an amethyst a B color so that worked out pretty good you're also going to need an eye bead and you can use whatever you want for an eye bead but I really like to use these Millifori uh, glass beads this is from BB craft here are the ones that I got these come on strings but I did cut the strings apart and separated the beads into this container here but they're really cool as you can see and hopefully these are still in stock and I will leave these um, down there in the description bar if I can find them on the site if they're still in stock and you're also going to need tools you're going to need round nose pliers chain nose pliers bail making pliers and by the way these are the smallest bail making pliers I use these for making the jump rings you're also going to need when I say smallest I mean this is the smallest size in the Wubbers line bail making pliers come in different brands as you know there's actually a bail making plier that has several different sizes on the plier but the ones I have um, have one size down the entire shaft you're also going to need wire cutters and I think this is everything I'm going to put the list of materials down there in the description bar along with 
links and let's get started. To save time I already went and put a whole bunch of seed beads onto my 20 gauge wire and now we're going to make the body. So here's my body as you can see. You will have to make 10 of these. The fin right here on the bottom of the fish is made the same exact way but on here I'll show you a close up. So on the scales I have three seed beads on each side and you can adjust them if you want. I was thinking about doing two on each side to make a smaller fish but then the rest of the fish would have to totally be adjusted. So if you want to make a fish identical to mine it probably is best that you make it the same exact way that I do and if you would like to make it in smaller sizes then after you make it the way that I'm making it you can try to downsize it and make it smaller yourself. So. I have 10 scales for his body, right? But the fin down here on the bottom, I did make it the same way as the scales, but I have four seed beads on one side and three on the other. But I think um, for the fish that I'm doing in the video, I think I will do four on each side because I would like his, his uh, fin to be a little bit longer than this one. All right, so to do this, so I'm going to take and grab the end of my wires with the tip of my pliers because I need my loop to be really tiny and I'm going to make a loop okay just like that and as you could see it looks like a P I'm going to bend it back on itself so it's more like an eye pin okay and then I'm gonna slide down three seed beads like this and then I'm going to take my chain nose pliers and I did make it so that all of my loops are open on the inside. I don't know if you could see it on that one. Do I need to get a different one? Maybe this one here. You could see it on this one. Yeah. See how the loops are open on the inside, not the outside? I made them all like that. Okay. So this is what I have right now. I'm going to grab right here. like this and I'm going to make a bend okay like that and then I'm going to slide down three beads like this and then I'm going to grab here with my chain nose and I'm going to make a bend again like that okay so I try not to have any slack really I do need it to be a little bit open here so I can put my jump ring on and then I'm gonna grab just like this and make my loop okay and then trim Maybe I should have opened it some. Oh, I got it. Okay. And then I'm going to come in here with my chain nose and go like this. And then you need to look at it from this direction. You need to make sure that they are straight and lined up with each other. I actually go like this. Okay. It's flat. It looks good. I'm going to do this one more time with you guys because I think I need to make one more, right? Yeah, I need to make this one. And then I have to make the bottom fin, in which I said is made the same exact way as this, but um, I'm going to do four seed beads on each side instead of three because I want my bottom fin to be bigger than the one on my first fish, okay? Now I'm going to go ahead and make jump rings and I counted 15 jump rings in his body and I already have one made here so I actually have to make 14 because I already have one but um, I'm using again the Wubbers mandrel pliers. This is the smallest one. I'm using the larger side which I think is like a 3 or 4 millimeter jump ring so I'm just going to go ahead and start 
making my rings and I will fast forward through this because it's time consuming and every so often I have to take it off and squish it down because well sometimes it likes to separate and I do find the closer to the hinge that I hold it the easier it is to make these okay now I'm going to cut them so let's see I have a flush cut on my last jump ring and I have to flush cut the next one so I have to hold my pliers like this and cut it there's one and then I have to turn them and cut the edge off because it's not flush and then I have to turn them again and cut it this way so they are flat so when I say flush what's happening is I'm making a flat cut on each side of the jump ring and when you close the jump ring they meet up so this side here will cut the wire flat but this side because it's how it's shaped like that I don't think I've ever showed you this before it's shaped like this so the wire will be pointed like that so I'll do it again right now I could tell that it's not flush so I have to go like this because I want the flat side see that to be in there and that was not a good cut so actually actually I think I got the other one oh, there it goes okay so flush cut and then turn and cut the next wire so that it is flat just like that so I'm gonna keep going making all my jump rings and I'll be back when I have them all done Alright, I'm done making my jump rings, and I accidentally made an extra one, but you know, that's probably a sign because I'm probably going to lose one, so, uh, yeah. Anyways, I'm opening a jump ring now. I made sure that they were all lined up and closed, by the way. I didn't just, you know, cut them, and then now I'm using them to actually line them all up so that they are pretty much perfect. And now I'm going to take and pick up my, my little, uh, connections here, so... I'm going to take and go through this end first because I don't know why but it's like always harder to put the loop on and then go through this so I put it on like this first and then I pick up another one and I put the loop onto the jump as you can see and then I'm going to close it shut and I'm just loving this technique that I came up with for making the necklace and the fish and I'm wondering, is there more possibilities for this? There has to be, right? You know what else the fish body kind of looks like? An ice cream cone. That would be cool. <laughs> I already have ice cream cone, beaded ice cream cone uh, earrings and pendants, though. Do you guys remember that? I did a 3D one with seed beads. That was cool. Okay, I opened up another link. And then I'm going to go through, I'm doing it again. I'm going to go through the point here, like that. Okay, and then I have to pick it up, and I'm going to go through this loop with my jump. Okay, and then close it shut. Line it up. I actually have jump rings this small in my stash, but they're silver. Okay. And then I'm going to pick up another jump. And I'm going to connect the middle here together. So I'm opening the jump ring. I have to pick up a new one. Okay, and for some reason you just got to let go of the jump ring and let it slide on there. I'm in the center. And then I'm going to pass through these two here. So I actually have three connections right here. Okay. And then I'm closing this shut. And by the way, this is the same way that I put the necklace together. We're just making the necklace into a fish. A cute little fish. Okay. Another jump ring. Open it up. Go through here. I did actually have to adjust these once I put them together like this and I put the head on and uh, if we have to do that I will let you know okay 
So I've got my jump ring again. I'm going to go through this loop now. And then I'm going to do the same thing to the other side. Open it up. Let's see. There we go. Looks like that. I'm going to go through. Pick up a new one, Alicia. Don't forget. And then let go of it, let it pop on, hold it here in the middle, and then pick up this loop. No, I dropped it! This one right here. Close it shut. Look at that. Looks cool. I like the purple and gold. Yeah, I was kind of unsure what color to do for the second fish. I was thinking about doing a green fish. But I'm happy I went with the purple. Okay, opening another jump ring. I have to make three connection points again. So I'm going to do here and here. So first I have to pick up another one. Okay, like that. Pick this up again and go through two of the rings one and oh come on come on one and two close it shut just like that pick up another jump open it Okay, got another section on, and then I'm going to go through these two, and I have learned that you want them to overlope, overlap, overlap each other, so this one's on the bottom, see the middle one here? This one's on the bottom, and this one's on the top, I will leave it like that, because it just seems to lay better, yeah, so think about dominoes overlapping, that's how you want them to be. Close this side shut. There we go. Picking up another ring. Opening. Pick this up. Go through right here. Okay. Go through this loop. Oh, come on. Close it shut and it'll probably line up. Yep, it did. Okay. That's what I have so far. Cool, I like it. Another ring. Remember that one there is for my fin, and I'm going to pick this up again. Okay, and then through this loop, close it shut. Okay, now I want these to overlap just like the other ones did, so this one is overlapping that one, so I will have this one overlap that one. Okay, and I'm going to go through both of these loops. I don't think I opened my ring enough. Just a little bit more. 
Okay. So again, I hope you can see. This side here, I'll zoom in. This side here is overlapping the middle. So I want this to overlap that. So that this lays right. I did kind of realize that when I made the necklace, I had to go back and fix this. And I was wondering, I talked about it in the video, if I had to do that or not. Okay. Again, pick up another ring. Open it. So that means that this one needs to overlap that one. So I go like this. And twist it open. Pick up a ring. Have this one overlap. This one. Another ring. Closing it. Another ring. Do the last loop. And there we go. There's the body. Alright, now for the tail. So what I did is I cut three inches of wire. And now what I'm going to do is find the very center of my wire. So I lay it on my ruler. And I find the very center, which is an inch and a half. Okay. And then I bend. Right at an inch and a half. Just like that. And then I'm going to pick up, I think it's, I, I did the piles, I'm to make sure, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven seed beads onto one side. Four, five, six, seven. Slide them down. I'm going to go to my chain nose pliers and I'm going to grab about let's see right there make a bend okay so, so you can see that's what I have so far and now I have to do this side again seven seed beads two three four five six seven slide them down Again, make another bend. So we have what looks like an M or a W. And then bend it up more like this. Okay. Just like that. And then I'm going to put, I think it was nine seed beads but really um it may be different for you it just depends so you see i have just enough wire there to make a loop a tiny little loop and just like i did all the other ones i'm going to bend my loop inward okay so i'm gonna go this way again i'm at the end of my pliers making a little loop and I need to bend it back on itself. Like this. Now this side. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Again, a tiny loop. Teeny tiny. Weensy weensy, itty bitty, loop. Ok, 
okay just like that and then I'm gonna go like this with my finger and I'm going to curve it do the same thing on this side and yo, when I when I made this tail, I'm like, this is gonna be really hard. It's gonna be so confusing. How am I gonna get this to work? I'm gonna break beads. And it was so easy. So you might have to get them to bypass each other like that. And you're pretty much just gonna get them to line up your two loops. And once they're like right on top of each other, which mine almost are so close, I might have to go like this. So close. Then you're gonna connect it to the rest of your fish. Okay, I got it. There it is. I could actually bend this side out a little bit more. Yeah, so really where I need to make my bend is down here. There we go. I'm so excited. Okay, let's connect his tail to his butt. First I have to go through this area and then I pick up the little tail and I put this on. Just like that. So cool. All right, now we're gonna do the top fin here, and I flipped it upside down so I could see it better. And I'm going to make my loop at the end. My teeny tiny inty winty itty bitty loop, like this. Okay, and then I'm going to slide down five beads. So I'm making it from here down. Okay, after five beads, take your chain nose pliers, grab it about here, okay, you want a tiny little gap, and then you're going to make a bend. It's kind of a 90 degree bend, by the way. Okay, boy, I'm bending the wrong side. It's okay, I can fix it. Apologize for the screaming bird. She seems to be losing her mind. Which is causing me to lose my mind. Okay, there we go. Five. And then I'm going to slide down three. Okay. So, to show you where we're at, we're right here. I can actually bend this more. Like that. Yeah. Okay. And then, I have to get my chain of pliers again. I'm going to grab it here, and I'm going to go like this, and bend it in this direction. And it's rounded here, so I have to straighten this out, because I need it to go this way, like that, okay? And then I'm going to slide down five beads. Like this. Alright, so again to show you, I got this, this is what we're making so far, it looks just like that, just so you guys understand what's going on. And now what I'm going to do is again take my chain of pliers and I'm going to grab here and I'm going to make another bend, okay? And then this time I'm going to do two seed beads, there's two. And then again, I'm going to grab here, right after the two. Bend it this way. Okay, so we have this. So again, it looks like that. This bead slid down on me. But that's alright, it'll be okay. And then I'm going to slide down, is it five I did again? Yeah, one, two, three, four, five seed beads. Ok, 
Okay. There's five. And I have to straighten this out because it's not straight. It's kind of rounded. There we go. Like that. Slide five beads down. And then grab here. And bend this down. Does it look right? Don't mess up on me, Finn. Okay, and then two seed beads, which have totally spun down my spool. Now we will have to adjust this when we go to put it on. Why does mine look so funny? Oh, because I bent it in the wrong direction. Yeah, I'm supposed to bend it the other way. Duh. Okay. So, fix that. And then, I'm going to cut some wire. Let's see. I'll cut out there. And I'll cut off more if I have to. And then I'm going to make my loop. Okay, and I'm going to bend it inward like I did before. And it's best to use round nose pliers, not chain nose. I wasn't looking. When I was grabbing my pliers, I just kind of grabbed them. Okay. Again, I want a tiny loop. So... Make it a little bit smaller. And there we go. Bend it. Curl it in. Like this. And I'm going to straighten this out. Okay, and there it is, my top fin. Just like that. And I will have to curve it some to get it to work. So it's gonna be right there on this side and I will have to do some more shaping. Now I'm making the head, which I would say is actually the most tricky part to get like a good shape. And what I did, I'm gonna zoom in so you could see. I put 10 seed beads on, okay? And then I went through a jump ring, and I put four seed beads on, and then a jump ring, and four seed beads, jump ring, four seed beads, uh, jump ring, four seed beads, jump ring, and then I put ten seed beads on again, okay? And you have to make sure that these are overlapping each other, like this, throughout the whole thing, you know, or, or like this. They all just have to be going in the same direction, because... <clears throat> Um, I guess what happened to me is I went to string this and I guess my jump ring flipped over and I noticed that there were, this one here was on top and the other two on the bottom and when I went to bend this it didn't look right. So um, make sure that yours are all going overlapping in the same direction. So I have 10 seed beads on each side, I have 4 in between my jump rings and now I have to bend this into a round shape so I just go like this. Okay, and I think I sh should slide this way more. I'm kind of wasting a lot of water, wire there. Okay, I'm just going to go like this. When I first did this, I was trying to wrap it around an object, but then I kind of realized that it's probably just best that I use my fingers. So I'm going to go like this now, bend it down. Okay, it looks like it's going to be about the same as my other fish. So squeeze it and try to get a good shape. So I'm going to take my um, chain of pliers and I'm going to bend this up. This wire up. The one that's connected to the spool. Okay, like that. And then I'm going to, I'm bending at a 9 degree angle by the way like this and then this wire which I found to be a little tricky you have to get all the beads to slide down okay and they just keep wanting to slide back I've made hoop earrings like this before but what I realized I kinda need to do is 
use my chain nose pliers and hold it right here at the end. Slide all of the seed beads down, okay? And then go like this and start wrapping. See? So there's no slack. And then I'm going to come all the way around and make a full wrap. And I think I wrapped maybe two or three times on my other one. I did feel like I screwed the top up on my other one. I still got it to work, but because it was my first one, um, I could redo it, but it, it, it still worked. But this one here, since I, because I was unsure of how I was going to add the eye, and I really wanted an eye on my fish. When I was younger, I had a, uh, a squirrel fish. He was cool. And uh, he looked like a giant fish fishing lure. I have saltwater aquariums. And um, he was a cool fish. Squirrel fish. Look it up. He's red and he has a giant red eye. He looks fake. He's so cool. Okay, I'm doing three wraps. Okay, there we go. I'm going to trim it. And then I'm going to, let's see, I'll go maybe here to be safe. What is that, two inches? Okay. So now I have this, and it looks kind of lopsided, so I have to bend it to shape. So I'm going to make it go that way. And you might notice that your scales are kind of buckling. So what I did is I got my chain nose pliers. And I went like this, and I made my scales closer so that it was more movable. These here need to be closer. So I'm just pulling the loops in. Yep, it's working. And um, I'm going to keep doing this until it lays flat. It looks like... Those ones there are doing it. And also, I think it's doing it because this needs to be squished more. Yes, that helped big time. Look at that. So see, the more it is squished down. So I'm going to shape my head. I'm going to go like this. Push the sides in. That's what i got to do. I'm trying to get a shape that I like. Oh, that's good. That looks good. I'm happy with that. Okay. And now I'm going to make a loop at the top here. So bend this wire down. Make a loop. Let's see which direction. I went in this direction. Really, you can go either direction you want. I do want to put a jump ring on mine. I want to be very movable, so that's probably what I'm going to do. Okay. I'm making a wrapped loop here. going to my chain nose pliers. Now we're not going to cut this tail off. We need the tail to come down and go inside the head so we can add our eyeball. And I totally forgot to get my uh, head pin out. I need a head pin for his eye. Oops, I just dumped my beads. I did that in my last video. Okay, which side do I want this to be on? Which side looks the best? Do you want this to be the back? This. I don't think it matters in this one. The other one I felt like there was a front and back. I think that I'm going to go all the way around again. And... Let's see. It doesn't matter. I think I'll have my loop on this side. Okay. Coming down like this pull it tight I'm going to make a loop I might have to go around to the side I'll just see we're just going with the flow I'm gonna make a loop here yeah I might have to go to the other side because I, I think I might have made my tail too short yeah I'm gonna go around 
back around, make a loop, okay, and then I'm going to bend my loop down, just like this. Okay, I just want a little bit peeking through at the top here. There we go. Okay. Okay, now I'm going to put my bottom fin on. So I'm going to open this jump ring and this one. And this is going to sit on top of those. And this one's going to go up here. And I will have to shape that one to fit the curve of my fish's back. So for now, I'm going to open this and I'm going to try not to pick it up because I don't want it to shift all around so keep it staying down put my fin on close it shut turn it to do this side I'm going to twist it open this direction so that I can get that loop and I might have to bend this closed more. Let's see, is it going to reach? No, it's not. So, bending it closed more. And let's see. Okay. Then close it. Okay, so there's my bottom fin. Hope you saw that. Now I have to make this work. So I have to bend it some, give it a curve. And I just go like this to see if it lines up. And it looks like it is. I might have to go inward a little bit there. And yep, looks like it's gonna fit. So see how these here just touch the top of his back. Isn't that cool? They worked out so well. Okay, then I'm going to open these rings. And again, I'm trying not to pick it up because I don't want to lose connections. Put the top fin on. Okay, I'm going to do this side. Close it shut. And there we go. So cool. It looks like I could bend it more a little bit. Right there. Yeah, that looks good. Now I just have to add my eye. Close it shut. I didn't do wire wrapped loop on the eye because I didn't want it to be very long. Because I needed to sit right in the middle of my head. I'm all done and these turned out so cute. I love them. And you know what? If you guys weren't around and you weren't watching my videos and you weren't inspiring me every day, I probably would not have created all the things I have created. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And like I said, I do plan on making these into pendants, but if you want, you can do earrings. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like this video, leave me a comment, subscribe if you want to see more of my videos, and make sure you click the bell button so you get notified when I upload new videos, and check me out on my social media sites. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and Twitter. Thanks for watching.